the game between the Patriots and the Bills. See, now, a lot of great games today. On paper, this one looked to be a mismatch. But, ah. but the Patriots have different ideas. Yeah, they've been playing tough. And you didn't think that it, they would play the Bills tough at home because the Bills, of course, going for a 16 there. straight win at Rich Stadium. But after upsets over Houston and Minnesota and a near upset over Denver last week, the Patriots were a handful for the Bills at Rich Stadium, no less. And you know the Bills like to move the field, move down quickly. They have the lowest average time possession in the league, but I tell you what, they were trying to hang on to that ball in the latter moments of this ball game it was, as we take a look at what was going on at Ridge Stadium. A stiff breeze in Orchard Park, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind swirling around the stadium. Pats were able to move the ball with that man, Leonard Russell. He finds the seam and into the Bills secondary he goes for 19 yards before being driven out of bounds. The second quarter, same drive, third and eight. Hugh Millen feels the pressure, goes down. The Pat drive stalls Leonard Smith on the safety blitz. On comes Jason Starofsky. His 35-yard field goal is wide left. Pat's trail, three zip. Third quarter, trailing 13-3, first and 10. Millen to Greg McMurtry on the crossing pattern. Breaks two tackles. He goes out of bounds after a 28-yard gain. Pats are on the move, but the drive stalls again. Starofsky's 39-yard field goal is good, but he's roughed up by Nate Odom. So then later in the drive, Swarovski again goes, this time from 35 yards out, and he misses it, TJ. Yeah, and when you're talking about the Bills and that offense, that receiving core, there's nobody better at the catch and run over the middle of the field than one Andre Reid, and that's mm -hmm. why Jim Kelly looks for him all the time. Here, you see him make the nice move, run through a few tackles, doesn't have blazing speed, has that Jerry Rice kind of speed, just enough to get away. Effective, gets the and job done. And when they concentrate on him, and losses, Don Beebe will always get open for you. There he catches the touchdown. 13-3, Bills in the lead, as you see Jim Kelly's numbers on the day. One touchdown, two interceptions. Sean McCarthy may never have a bigger day punting the ball. With today's win, this one gets a most favorable roll with a little help from his teammates. He goes for 63 yards out of the three-yard line in the third quarter from his end zone with the win at McCarthy back. A booming kick over Al Edwards' head. It keeps going and going and going. Down at the one, 93 yards, the third longest in NFL history, a team record for the Pats, you better believe it. Fourth quarter, 16 to 10, Buffalo in the lead, third and one, Thurman Thomas. Couple of nifty moves, and he's in for the score. From 14 yards out he goes, 22-10, Bills in the lead, but the Pats did not give up. Al Edwards calls for the fair catch. Fumble. Chris Gannon recovers Edwards' second fumbled punt. Pats back in it with 7.34 to go. Second and goal. Leonard Russell finished off the drive with a three-yard touchdown run. It's 22-17. 50 seconds to go. I don't know why Jim Kelly is passing. It's picked off by Jerome Henderson. The Pats are alive again. First and 10. 46 seconds to go. Millen to Irving Fryer. Complete for 18 yards. He can't get out of bounds. Shades of Denver last week. Millen hurries up from midfield, 25 seconds to go. Millen looking for McMurtry. It's deflected off his hands, intercepted by Daryl Talley. Second week in a row, the Pats fall just short, losing by a final, very respectable, 22 to 17. Thurman Thomas rushed for 126 yards. Leonard Russell enjoyed his second straight 100-yard rushing game for the Patriots, gaining 106 yards on 27 carries.